New tonight, a terrifying diagnosis, flesh eating bacteria in the waters. Now, medical experts say they're on the brink of a breakthrough, but the clock is ticking. They say climate change is making water warmer, which will cause more bacteria to breed. But by the time their solution comes out, flesh eating bacteria could be at an all time high. Tonight, NBC Charlotte's Michelle Bowden tells us about the vaccine that could save you from what lies beneath. It's a race against time. Doctors hustling to develop a vaccine for Vibrio, a flesh eating bacteria that lives naturally in the water. By the time the vaccine is ready in 2030, doctors think more people will need it because water everywhere is getting warmer. Vibrio needs a mix of fresh and salt water and warm temperatures, and it's in the country's bays where those conditions allow the bacteria to thrive. From new cases just reported in the Chesapeake and Delaware Bays all the way down to Texas, where Robbie Seiler contracted Vibrio last month. We were in the water for maybe 10 minutes, wade fishing, and got back in the boat. Less than two days later is when he went to the hospital. He lost his leg after contracting the bacteria last month. Gary Evans died in June after spending time in the same bay. The CDC tracks Vibrio telling us 77 people contracted the illness in the Carolinas in the most recent year with available stats. And experts say the number of confirmed cases is only going up because testing for the bacteria is becoming easier. While people with open wounds should never go into the water, the most common way to contract Vibrio is by eating shellfish, which is why scientists are working with the FDA to test oysters. If your seafood is cooked, the Vibrio bacteria are killed, so they do not really pose a problem whatsoever. But in people who are immunocompromised that have some sort of reason that their body has a hard time fighting off the strong infection, those people really need to be careful of eating undercooked or raw seafood. So while the bacteria itself is nothing new, a change in temperature and testing account for the hundreds of confirmed cases we're seeing across the country this year. Michelle Budden, NBC Charlotte.